Now I want to demonstrate how to draw RE model for the common emitter configuration. Okay, the common emitter is like this. The emitter is connected to the ground. <coughs> and this is a C and this is the base. Okay. For this example, I use the NPN transistor. So you can see the symbol of the diode or arrow is at E, is going up from B to E. Means that the current flow from B to E and from C to E. This is for IC and this is for IB. Right? Okay, now we go to the two port system to demonstrate the RE model. Okay, the RE model is inside this two port system, the inside the black box. Okay, we have I in, Z in, V I in, V in, Z in, I out, Z out, and V out. Okay, at the input side is uh, internal resistance or AC resistance here. And then at the output side is the current source. Okay, before we draw the current source direction, okay, let we check the current flow for the IE. Okay, this is the E. Um, sorry, it's not E because the common emitter means that emitter at the ground. And then B, and then the output side is C. Okay, so the current flow from B to E here, so this is the IB, okay? IB. And and then uh, this is a beta RE. Okay, for the common emitter, it the RE is a little bit different because we have beta okay and then for the current source uh, we refer to the ic and then ic is flow from c to e from c to e the ic so we draw like this okay current is flow from the c to e and I C equal to beta I B. Okay, remember that I C equal to beta I B. Okay, this is for DC uh, for AC. Okay, now we check why we are using beta. Okay, refer to the output characteristic. Of the common emitter configuration okay we notice that the slope is different from various input current okay this uh, characteristic is different from the common base where uh, which the common base shows the very flat uh, slope and this one uh, the slope is very steep and then you can see current IC is not same as the IB here right okay so because of this okay we say that the IC equal to beta IB okay because IC is not same as IB then this value is very large normally from 50 and it can goes to 300 or 400 okay when we multiply this one and we can get back the IC value and we know that IB is in micro ampere while the IC is in milliampere okay 
That's why we are using uh, beta IB for the current source.